anxiety on me. Hi. Let's talk about some conflicts and some effects that we can get from not following some rules or laws. Um, Alright, so can you tell me a little bit about the conflict as you know? Um, conflict is Conflict is a small fight, mm. but it, it is not it's not physical. Okay. So yeah, that's all. Wait, when you say it's a small fight, what what about the big fights? Is it not a conflict? I think that's a physical. Physical fight. Yes. It can also be uh, included in the. Uh, category of conflicts also. Conflict is when people have disagreements. Yes. So the reason that they fight physically might start with a conflict, you know? But it is a disagreement between individuals or between the company, an individual or company versus company. Yes. Um, so we see a lot of conflicts in daily, uh, in daily life. Yes. What are some examples you can give me as a conflict? Mm. Um, actually, humans have a lots of self conflict. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So, and if we have a lunch, mm -hmm. human think, human think that menu between like. Ramen, oh, rice. oh, you mean lunch? Yeah, I thought lunch. you said longs. Um, so for to have lunch, they have self conflict because they yes. don't know what to choose for their lunch. Yes, okay. that's a self conflict. Oh, <laughs> I thought more of uh, like a deep conversation with yourself. I thought more of that direction, but um. That could be also a self comfort. Yeah, it happens. It actually happens every single day, you know? Like, what should I eat for lunch? That is a very big question for ourselves every single day. Even though we do it every day, we do it over and over again. Um, so, what are the other things, other um, examples when you have self conflict? Self conflict? Mm -hmm. Um, when I, just, yeah. If I started online game, mm -hmm. I will resist a time, mm -hmm. but I doing some homework. Mm -hmm. That that is good, but it that's a self conflict between play game or do homework. Oh, okay. That is a very good uh, example, actually. Yes. I suffer from doing that uh, as well. I try to do something uh, productive. Productive means you make something out of your time. Um, but but I end up watching Netflix. It's a big yes. conflict. It's a big self conflict actually. Yes. Um, I think when I think of self conflict, I think of more of these kind of things where. Uh, you should be evil or kind to people, you know? Yes. That is also conflict in, in yourself, but it just doesn't show outside. Yes. Nobody knows that you're thinking about that, so that's what's called self-conflict. What are the other possibility uh, where conflicts can pop out? Where conflicts can exist? Where does conflict exist other than yourself? Like, um, fuller, fuller noise. Fuller noise? Fuller, fuller. Fuller, fuller oh! <laughs> okay, so like, uh, when the people upstairs or downstairs are making, yes, being noise. loud, yeah, making yes. noise. That's a conflict. Between. That's a conflict. Oh, so between neighbors? Yes. Ah, oh, that's a very interesting, uh, thing that you mentioned. So you can also have conflict between the neighbors. Um, what happens then? Like if you hear some no noises, what do you do? Um, actually, 
my upper house mm -hmm. is new neighbor. Okay. So my upper house this mom mm -hmm. came our home mm -hmm. and gave some cake because <laughs> because they are three and four grade elementary students. Oh. Year, so she said it can can make a noise but I will I will stop my best. Uh, you will, she will do her best. Yeah. She says she'll do her best to not make some not make so yes. much noise. Okay. That's that's the actual thing that happened. It's a real story? Yes. Oh. Okay, interesting. So are you suffering from that? Are you having a hard time with the noise? I mean sometimes I heard some noise but I can't because I know the reason about you know the reason about noise. Uh, so. You know the reason of the noise. Well, that's very nice of you. Some people, do you know the story about this old lady who hears the noises upstairs where where all the kids live? And this no, this old lady put up pokes with a broomstick to oh. upstairs so they can stop. They can know that there she's underneath. Um, and then they started not making any noise, being very quiet all the time. And then this old lady was like feeling lonely out of it, you know. Um, she doesn't she doesn't hear any noise anymore, and she feels very left alone. Yeah, so I think that is a very good story because I think it also involves some self conflicts too. Like you're thinking. Should I yell at them? Should I go upstairs and yell at them and tell them that I'm very annoyed by it? Or should I just embrace it? Should I just let them be and do my thing? Try to maybe put on some earphones and do something else other than just focusing on the noise. Those things could, uh, could drive into controlling your self-consciousness or self-conflict. But it can also but when does the conflict become a bigger conflict? When does it become a bigger problem? At one of Yeah, between the neighbors. Um, if officers don't agree about noise. Don't agree about noise. They don't... don't... don't. Oh, they don't accept. Accept about their noise. Oh, they don't accept how noisy they are. Yes. And they just keep on making noise. Yes. Whatever you say, I'm just gonna be like be myself and make noises. I don't care about you. If they say something like that, you're gonna have a big problem. What could be the result of this problem? Result. Result. Maybe. Um. Downstairs, we'll call the police. We'll call the police. Okay. Yeah, if if it keep mm -hmm. keep noisy. Oh, if they keep on being noisy. Yes. Ah, oh, that could be another solution. Okay. Right, right. Um, but like, does it have? Do we have any kind of law to like to involve police? I think there has to be some significant law to control the noise between the floors. You yes. Know? Do you think we have laws for that? We already have had laws. Yeah. About laws. Okay. What What is it? What is exactly? I I heard it. Um. That if. If I downstairs mm -hmm. and upstairs main main noisy noise that I pop like broomsticks mm -hmm. that's guilty. That's guilty. And if I I oh, no 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 that's not guilty. Okay. But I because that's self offense. Yes, and if I go to the upper stairs mm -hmm. and talk and some. Insults. Yes. Bad words. Yeah. It's, yeah. Just 
Why are you keep doing it like that? Uh -huh. That's guilty. That's guilty. Yeah, but it's not guilty. Oh. Huh. You do that. Do they uh, ask you for a fine if you do that? Do they ask you for some fine? Fine? Hmm. Mm, I don't do know. you have to pay for being aggressive? Hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, if you involve some police officers, you're gonna definitely deal, have to deal with the laws and make the end of it. But what could be a very generous way of dealing with this conflict? What could be a, like a nice way to deal with this conflict? Like you in your case, it it um it ended up really well because the upstairs person came to you first, asked for um uh, and apologized in advance, right? They they were like, oh, it could be very noisy, but please uh, understand our situation and all this stuff. But like, what could you do if they don't do? If they don't come up to you first, what would you do? What is something that you can do to stop the conflict? I have to actually. Um, I have to meet the upper stairs first. Mm -hmm. Meet the upper stairs people. Yeah, meet, and if they didn't accept, mm -hmm. I will call police. Okay. If, if well, I, between after, calling the police. I, after I live long, live I, after I independent. After you're independent and yes. you're not living with your parents? Yes. Huh. Well, according to this book, when you have a conflict, Hopefully especially between friends, he says, um, well, not exactly in this book, you have to maybe listen to the people. Uh, it's very important to listen to between to these two people and share the feelings, share the exact feeling about your situation that you feel in that situation. And um, you can maybe build some rules, like a small rule between, okay, so you can like maybe write up like some rules, maybe between five to 10, maybe try, please try not to make so much noise because yeah. that's when I have to focus, you know? Like give, give them some instruction or maybe a little bit of rule so they can, um, you know, instead of yelling at each other, you can just adjust the situation a little bit by making some little rules. That's, you can make rule between any kind of com um, community, but for law, making a law, who, who is involved in making a law? Government. Government, yes. Like, who is the government? Like, President of Oro. Mm hmm. And some. High yeah. workers. Yeah, it says it right here. Do you remember the nine uh, yes. judges? Yes. What are they called? Supreme Court. Yeah, the Supreme Court takes care of uh, making or well, getting rid of some law, a laws that yes. is not uh, useful anymore. Then yes. they make new laws when it is needed. You know, they hear people, um, people's com uh, compliment and not com you know, conflicts, and they try to make a really good laws. Sometimes they make really weird laws, but. It's for everybody, you know. It's built by the country. So all the does all the country have seen laws? No. No. Uh, what do you think is the reason of that? Why yeah, do they? Yeah. They have different culture, mm -hmm. different food, <laughs> <or> different food, <laughs> different environment. Environment, yes. huh? Okay, so they will need different laws to uh, click with that same exact environment. Oh, good, good, good. I think that's a really good conversation that we desire. Um, but other than between neighbors, uh, friends are... Friends, between friends is where we find the most conflict usually. 
I think uh, one of the reason is because we see them very often. We see them when we go to school, when we go to the work. And maybe even when we go for dinner with them, we might end up having a conflict. Um, what are some of the reasons that we have conflict with friends? Same difference. Oh, hmm. yeah, we have different thoughts. Because different thoughts, yeah. A between friend and me, mm -hmm. we have different education. Mm -hmm. Like from parents for school. Mm -hmm. So it's okay. different. All right, all right. Our parents think. That's a very, very good point. Actually, I never, I um, didn't even think of approaching it that way, but the reason why people, uh, friends have conflicts is because they were raised differently. Yes. You know, they have different education, they have different parents, and they might go to different school. Uh, they have different childhood background. Hmm. It also involves their parents' background also, with how their parents were raised, and all it goes all the way back there. Um, but that is a very good point. Um, but what is uh, a good way to find a resolution between these conflicts? Just here and maybe. <laughs> But what if you are still mad after agreeing with them? Just we we have to find middle middle point. Middle, middle point. <laughs> yes. uh -huh. Finish and solve conflict. But how do you find the middle point? By talking. By talking. Yes. But how does the talking have to be? Like, can you talk like you are the reason this conflict has? Horizon. Like you are the problem and you are always do it wrong and you are the bad person. If I do it like that, does it? are we going to find a solution? And just buy, just buy, say, to a friend. You say bye? Yeah. You, say, you say bye forever for yes. the friend? That is actually a good thing to do actually because people who use bad languages and bad attitude towards their friends who they call a really good friend a really good friend has to believe in them believe in each other but uh, if you meet a friend who is very aggressive like i just did you you might have a better life believing them you know if they have if they stay close to you you might end up being the same that is a very good point um but what then? What? How would you solve the problem in the talking? How would you say? How would you um, see things? Like how would you approach the things that you mean? Mm, just more talking and show feelings. Okay. <laughs> So can you give me some example? If like let's say we fought, we let's say we fought over um, some disagreement. What do you, what are the examples when we find some conflicts? When we fight. Fight. Yeah. If if my friend said if if I eat some ramen, mm -hmm. my friends my friend. Said just one bite, please. Oh, and, and they asked for one bite. Yeah, but my friends ate all like that. Oh, and they they end up eating the whole bowl. Yeah. And you get mad. Yes. What do you say then? Are you serious? <laughs> and then. And then. That's Maybe it. some bad bad words after. Red Bull? Bad words. Bad words. Okay, yes. so that, is that a good way to uh, solve the conflict? Um, if, yeah, that, that is true my feelings. True, but... And, and after bad words, my friend will agree. They agree with the bad words? Uh, uh, agree that he is guilty. <laughs> 
oh, he has done something wrong. Yes. Or he and, has made you mad. And he have to do something like pay saying. <laughs> he would, he would have to buy you. Yes. Buy you another and woman. Yeah, he had to. He had to do something to. Mm, to make up for the your penis. Yes. Okay. Well, that is an actually that is very actually very realistic way of solving problem. Uh, things that they say in here are, are like a textbook textbook kind of thing, you know, like things that teachers say that we need to do, you know, what's going on? Um, but in the real life, you might actually have to maybe use bad words. Yeah. Um, but after that, you would try to find a solution or uh, going along with the situation, uh, maybe ask them to buy you another ramen because they ate them all. Yeah, but usually what they say here is that you need to show them your feelings. If you're mad, you need to say it kindly, in a nice words, nice way. So they don't get they don't get their feelings hurt as well. Because if two people are having a hurt feeling at the same time, the conflict is never gonna be yes. solved. But if one person um, tries to find a solution in a nice way, it might end up end in a nicer way. Well, the one thing that we wanted to talk about a little bit was professional work. If you go into the professional world, or if even if you go to a different country, you don't. You and uh, you are not an individual anymore. You might represent a whole country. You know. Uh, let's say you were kidnapped. Yes. That is also a conflict. Nobody kidnaps for fun. You know. If you're kidnapped by this whole group, a gangster group, yes. it's not gonna be your own problem anymore. It's yeah. gonna be the gangster and Korea. Yes. You know, Korean people, Korean government is going to work hard to get you back. In that kind of situation, is rule, like you would say, if I say, oh, please don't kill me, I'll, let's, uh, let's say you can break my arm, but not my neck. Is that going to work? That, that kind of rule is not going to work for them. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like, what are you talking about? Um, but does the law help? In that situation? Yes. Yeah? I think so too. How would the law imply on this thing, on this situation? Mm, lots of laws. Can lots of laws? Employ laws. What kind of law could, could you imagine like using in this situation? We are not law students, but. Turtle? Um, kidnapping is not, it's not stealing. It is stealing, but it's yeah, not, and you're not. And, and, and some, um, uh, oh, okay, like, aggressive, um, fight, and physical, physical harm. Yes. And, mm -hmm. You know, like they they might take some money out of us, so they'll admit a lot of stealing also, I guess. Um, and what is it called? Um, oh, uh, well, I forgot the word. Anyways, well, we don't know much about this situation, yes. but like this could be something that we can think of, you know? Even though you're a very common individual, you just you don't do much in life, but like you might you might really get kidnapped when there's when there's uh, war, you know? You might just randomly get kidnapped on the way to your home. Yes. Okay, so I guess we talk a lot about the conflicts yes. and we learned a lot about the Me conflicts too. and yes. laws here. Yes. So as a citizen 
what do you think? This is the last thing that you're gonna deal with. It has to. It happens to be in this chapter, where as a citizen, when you're old enough, yes. what what is the best thing you could do to build the right governments? To make the lot right law for voting. us. Voting. Yes. You yes. Need to vote. The voting has uh, uh. been just passed. Uh. You need to make sure that you know who you're voting for and when you're vote when you're voting and how is the future gonna be with the person that you voted with. Um, so that is something that we need to focus on. So the conflict to law in building the right community for everyone. It's very important. So I think that's about it for today. And you did a great job. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs>